very excited to have this man joining me on the BT couch, Afel Liggett, of course, the voice of the Tour de France. Welcome to the show. Thank you very um, much. Alex. There's a great uh, fundraising event happening, the CIBC 401 Bike Challenge happening right now as we speak. Uh, we're yep. going to talk about this in just a few moments. Before, I need to ask you, you've been covering uh, the Tour de France, the most prestigious uh, biking yeah. event in the world. What's it been like over the years to, to see it evolve, to be part of it so much? Well, you know, it began back in 1903, and that's one of the few I didn't cover. But I, I actually started in 73 as my first tour uh, as a driver, and I was also a journalist at the time. And then I moved into television in 78, and I've covered it on TV ever since, for the world, really. Um, it's, it's developed into the biggest sporting annual happening of any sport. It's enormous, and we just started this year's edition in the UK. Three days in the UK. Official figures said 54% of the British nation either were at the event or watched it on television, which is enormous. That's incredible. Mm. That's mm. incredible. So over the years, uh, and it, as you know, of course, many people know now, that the sport of cycling has changed a lot. Yes, and, it has. And through the many Tour de France that you've covered, what, do you have one memorable moment, one that stands out? Always. Um, 1989. I predicted the, uh, the Tour de France on the last day. There's no reason to say this because L'Enfignon, the great French cyclist, was winning by almost a minute. And we had just a short time trial from the Palace of Versailles until Champs-Élysées in Paris. And he was leading by nearly 54 seconds. And so I said to the camera, well, I think Greg LeMond, the American, will win the tour. And he'll win by six seconds. As it transpired, he won by eight seconds. Wow. Of course, the viewers didn't realize I'd made that prediction live on air. And, and they blame me for spoiling the show, but uh, it was an absolute, and, it, and that was a memorable tour. Everything oh, that boy. Greg did, Fignon did, everything that Fignon did, like wear the yellow jersey, mm. Greg wore the yellow. Wow, uh, it was just a wonderful tour de France, and it was the first American victor, and because of all the scandals that have followed, oh, still the only American victor of the tour. Oh, that's yeah. right, that's right. All yeah. right, from the tour de France, uh, let's talk about this CIBC 401 bike challenge. Mm. Uh, tell us what it's all about, and you're raising funds for, for very special people. Yeah, I mean, I'm a great friend with the CEDA, Cancer Institute here in Montreal and, um, and this is my first, fifth visit out here with them because they're just nice people who raise big money for cancer. Uh, originally I did it with Lance Armstrong uh, who was as you know a big supporter of cancer and still is let's face it. Uh, but at the end of the day th this is a three-day event it's celebrating his 10th anniversary. Uh, the Piccoli family uh, because they were stricken by cancer through Angie the wife uh, in 10 years ago they decided that they wanted to raise money for cancer and Boy, they've now uh, made a donation of nearly one and a half million dollars wow. uh, to the Institute. This, uh, this time, it's going to be probably around 300,000 coming in, which will be a record as well. Uh, the guys are riding, as we speak, they're riding the longest day today, which is 260 kilometers. Wow. Tomorrow, I shall get the bike out and join them for a mere 130 kilometers. A mere. <laughs> but every time I talk to Jeff Shamey from Cedars, it goes up in distance, so I'm up. getting a bit worried now. Oh, uh, wow. Well, let's mention uh, yesterday uh, the group of uh, nearly 50 riders left from the Toronto Sick Kids Hospital, and they will be arriving in Montreal at, at the Children's uh, Hospital, of course, yeah. uh, and you will be part of that finale. Yeah, well, tomorrow we're all going to finish down at Dawson's College, and everybody's welcome from 2.30 onwards. It's going to be a big party, and we'll meet all the riders coming in. Phil, thank you so much for coming in. Such a great cause with the Cedars uh, Cancer Institute. Thanks again, and have a good ride tomorrow. Alex, lovely to see you again. It Great. was Tromblon last time, wasn't it?